good morning everyone in this session we are going to discuss about the neural tube defects neural tube defects account for the large proportion of congenital anomalies in the cns resulting from failure of neural tube closure spontaneously between the third and fourth week of intrauterine life commonest cause for neural tube defect is folic acid deficiency the folate is essential for dna rna synthesis cell division and myelination and genetic mutation in methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency is leads to neural tube defect and other common causes are diabetes in mother obesity and smoking intake of anti epileptic drug is the other reason for neural tube defect next let us see about the small recap of neural tube development the neural plate appears on 16th to 19th day as thickening of the embryonic ectoderm on day 20 to 21st the neural plate fold along the midline and by the end of third week the neural folds fuse to form neural tube the fusion is begin with hindbrain cervical junction and it further proceed rostrally and then caudally the anterior and posterior neuropore closes on 25th and 27th day depending on the point of interruption in the neural tube formation it develop neural tube defects it may affect brain that is called anencephaly or spinal cord that is spina bifida there are two types of neural tube defects open and closed type open neural tube defects are more common it results when the brain and spinal cord are exposed at birth through a defect in the skull or vertebrae examples are anencephaly and spina bifida in closed neural tube defects are rare and occur when the spinal defect is covered by skin it is due to malformation of fat bone and membranes next we see the classification of the neural tube defect that is cranial neural tube defects and spinal neural tube defects in the cranial neural tube defects the first one is the anencephaly and encephalocil in the spinal neural tube defect the spina bifida occulta meningocil and meningomyelocil first we see about the anencephaly this picture shows absent cranial vault with cerebral hemisphere completely absent or reduced in size the infants don't survive longer this is due to failure of closure of anterior neuropore the next one is the encephalocil it is due to neural tube defect in this case there is protrusion of brain and membranes into the fluid filled sac through the skull defect this picture shows craniochisis that is skull defect through which neural tissue is protruding next let us see about the spina bifida it is due to incomplete closure of vertebral arch and neural tube the spina bifida is divided into spina bifida occulta and spina bifida cystica the cystica again divided into meningocil and myelomeningocil let us see about the spina bifida occulta it occurs in 5% it is due to failure of formation of bony arches around the spinal cord so the spinal cord and meninges are normal it is not visible externally it is asymptomatic this picture shows meningocil that is it is a sac like herniation through the bony malformation that contains meninges and csf the sac is thin and translucent and next one is the myelomeningocil it is sac like protrusion through which the spinal cord and csf and meninges all are comes throughout the spinal cleft this is called myelomeningocil this picture shows exencephaly that is protrusion of brain and meninges out of the skull screening of neural tube defects the neural tube defects can be detected by ultrasonography an increased maternal serum of alpha fetoprotein during 16 to 18 weeks in the amniotic fluid estimation of alpha fetoprotein and acetylcholine esters to detection of neural tube defect how to prevent the neural tube defects supplementation of 0.4 mg per day folic acid from 3 months prior to the conception up to the first 12 weeks of pregnancy can prevent neural tube defects the treatment is spina bifida can be treated by surgery after delivery this is the end of session about the neural tube defects thank you